Hey, David Weck here, I'm at CrossFit 619. Today I'm gonna to teach you two versions of a ground strike and an athletic shuffle. So a lot going on here, fantastic exercise. So when we do the ground strike where we hit, that's a power move because the ground is what decelerates the club. It's a concentric down and there's no stopping until it stops, so it's a power move. Second version is not a strike, but a kiss. Let's say you live on the second floor, you're in your house and you just, you know, you can't bang the floor with full force. So you're gonna kiss before and not hit the ground and that's gonna create this breaking eccentric that's not as much about power, it's about strength. And if you got a neighbor downstairs with pit bulls and you don't wanna get them angry, then you better do the kiss. And if you're in a gym like this, awesome gym with a nice rubber floor, nice and cleaned off, boom, strike away. So here's what it looks like. We, we're gonna, we're gonna do a breathing in to get the club up overhead. You don't wanna arch the lower back, however. You wanna really do it thoracically. So that breath in, boom, it's up. Now we come down on the strike and we're gonna forcefully contract the anterior, pull yourself down with the hip flexors and you're going to hit the ground. First recovery is just simple, where I come up and it's just boom, boom. Just like that. We add the shuffle by just going laterally back and forth or keep it in a line. I'm gonna go back and forth. So I'm gonna come down, I'm gonna come here, athletic. Just like that. So that's the strike with what we call a neutral recovery. I can also add a spiraling recovery where it's a bottoms up. And this is gonna be a little bit more efficient, a little bit less work. It'll help me athletically, and it's just another way to do it. You wanna learn both. So to do that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna strike the ground. Now, club is gonna go bottom, and I'm gonna rotate the hands. See the way the hands rotate? And I leave the head of the club down on the bottom, and I lead with the elbow. So, boom, elbow up by the shoulder, strike. Now, the other side's a little more challenging because as I rotate, leave the club here, see my hands are crossed. If I come that way, my hands are open. I come here, they're crossed. We wanna learn both ways. So, and my hands are relatively close together on this striking action. And that's gonna clear room for getting it over my head. So, that looks like this. I strike, I recover, and I recover. And I recover opposite of the direction that I'm moving. So if I'm gonna move left, recover right. If I move right, I recover left. So that's our strike, okay? With that athletic shuffle. Now we're gonna translate it into a kiss. Now you're not gonna get your neighbor downstairs all upset. So here's what this looks like. I'm gonna separate the hands. And I'm gonna do it with the other side because we always train both sides. I'm gonna separate the hands on here. And what that's gonna give me, is gonna give me a better Breaking force, breaking force. So the whole posterior now has to slow the club down to the point where I'm not gonna hit it and I wanna move as fast as I can to get there. So a lot of posterior on that breaking force. So it looks like this, I'm overhead and I come down and I just kiss it. I don't wanna hit it. I come right back up, boom. And then I'm gonna shift, shift, shift. And you'll feel, you're gonna get Nice bracing action through the arms. Everything's gonna tense on that bracing action. And the separated hands is gonna give me, boom, the ability to do that with, with greater ease. This, to break that, your wrists are gonna have, your hands and your wrists are gonna have to be mega strong. Here, it gives us a better opportunity to do it with more strength on the way down and actually stop it, not hit the floor. We can also combine that lateral movement on this same rules apply with the bottoms up recovery. So I'm up overhead and I come down at breaking force. Come to the side, boom, come to the side, boom, boom, boom. Just like that. So benefits of that exercise. Big time cardiovascular with coordination. So that's just, so that's just one of the huge benefits of it, okay? And it'll condition you and it'll burn a lot of fat because you're high intensity exercise. You can get spiked the heart rate very high on that exercise. Another benefit is that expansive ability. Opening up the body, opening, 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 without arching the lower back excessively. Expanding, ribs are bigger, stronger, anterior abs, hip flexors, everything, boom, coming down on the strike, on the braking, I get that posterior, 
with still that same expansion. So that concentric down on the strike, it's just different than if you were normally gonna squat because there you're breaking. Here the club is gonna stop with the ground. So the benefits are, as I outlined, you got that cardio coordination and you have that expansion and then you have that concentric down. So you're really learning how to power the hip flexors. So even when you go to translate to running, now you have better anterior strength, boom, to create that, that flexion, boom, because you groove that, boom, just like that. And I find, I find that when I do that exercise, I get, I get soreness down in here in the posterior, the hamstrings and the adductors because I'm so forcefully coming down, club breaks, but then I have to power myself back up with hip extension. So it is eccentric down in the posterior. It's a fantastic exercise. It will burn off a lot of steam. Ladies love it. You feel strong, you feel powerful. It's amazing. And guys, you do that exercise when you drive home from the gym, if that's where you're doing it, no problem. Go ahead. You're nice behind the wheel of your car because you've let all the frustration, all the steam out because it's so cathartic to just boom, bang away. So that's several versions of the ground strike. Try it out. Send in questions. Leave your comments. Follow us at WECK Method and WECKMethod.com. See you next time.